Hey, it's Mike. Hey, I'm Nathan. And I'm Aiden. And today we're here talking about a Victron Easy Solar 5 kVA system. Now, I always get asked, you know, what can a 6 kilowatt system off grid do? And that's what we're actually going to explain today. So, what we're going to be talking about today is a system with a 6 kilowatt of solar panels, 8 kilowatt hours of battery storage, an AC coupled inverter, and off grid inverter. So, we've got some fun stuff in this system here. So, let's start with the panels. So, Nathan, what can 6 kilowatts of solar panels do for a customer off grid? Well, in your worst season, winter, you'd be expecting about four hours of sunlight in a day. So if she's got a six kilowatt system, four hours is um, 24 kilowatt hours in a day. And then in summer, you can pretty much expect to double that. So you're looking at about 48 kilowatt hours in a day. Cool. So when designing a system, you designed around the fact that in winter, the customer's got four sun hours and you times that by the six kilowatts and give them about 24 kilowatt hours. Yep. Use of storage. Okay, cool. And, um, and this job here, we use the SunPower commercial panels. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Yep, cool. So uh, we use the SunPower P-Series commercial panels. Now, will it always produce that 24 kilowatt hours a day in the middle of winter? Well, no, because you want to utilize the power from the panels. Um, if your batteries are full and you don't have any loads going, then the panels are pretty much just turned off and you won't have power coming in. Okay, so... If your batteries are full, so if you're not using that power and your batteries are full, the panels just turn off. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not like a grid connected solar system where they can just feed it back all day long. No. The batteries are full, they turn off. Okay, so um, now there's eight kilowatt hours of usable capacity. So what batteries did you guys use in this job? So in this job we're using the Life Series Power Plus batteries. Um, so in total it's actually a 9.9 .9 kilowatt hour battery, but that's restricted to eight kilowatts. What this means is, say you want to run a aircon of a night that pulls around about a thousand watts, you'll be able to run that for eight hours, give or take, including losses. Cool. So, so this customer's got eight kilowatt hours of, you know, they're Australian made power plus batteries. Yep. And so they could run an air conditioner, you know, like a small energy efficient aircon if it was running flat out for like eight hours. Around right about eight hours, yeah. Cool. So what happens at that eight hour mark when the batteries go flat? Like the customer gonna break anything or won't break anything, the system will simply shut down on a low voltage alarm um, and everything just turns off, which will not damage the system and the system will reboot by itself as soon as the sun is back on those panels the next day. Cool, okay. So in this system here we talked about they've got, um, they've got DC panels and AC panels. So Nathan, so, so what does that mean? So basically some of the panels are set up to go directly to the batteries and some of them are um, hooked up to go directly to the AC coupled inverter. So basically, you try to design it so that it's most efficient, so that the panel's going straight to the battery, and then they get more usable power from the rest of the panels going straight to the AC coupled inverter. Okay, cool. So, so that black start, I think, is what it's called. So those panels go directly to batteries. So if if the because basically you you off grid inverters, your grid for your grid connected inverter, the AC coupled inverter. Yep. So the, the panels will charge the batteries up. Once that charges up, the off-grid inverter turns on, which turns the grid-connected inverter back on yep. from that black start Correct. point of view. So if you didn't have panels connected to batteries, that wouldn't happen? No, nope. the system would not reboot in the morning because the AC-coupled inverter requires its microgrid, the grid, which is a battery inverter, to start it up. So if the batteries are flat and that microgrid isn't available, will not start up. Okay, so cool. So in that situation, that's where you'd use your generator if Correct. you didn't have DC coupled panels. Correct. So, but all the systems you guys do, you use DC coupled panels, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, the DC couples are real reliability. Um, so Nathan, can you explain to us more how this AC coupled inverter works over data? Like what's the benefit to a customer at the end of the day having an AC coupled inverter? Yep. Well, basically it gives our customer more usable energy throughout the day and it gives her efficient power. The, the panels will go straight to the AC inverter and they can be used for loads throughout the day. So there's very little losses um, in the generation of the power. And I think it's about 5% losses on an AC coupled inverter. Yep. And if they were coming straight from the battery, it'd be a, around about 30% loss in yeah, power. So yeah, if the panels, 
went down in the batteries and back through the batteries out the inverter, like worst case scenario, they're gonna lose about 30%. Yeah, worst case. Yeah, and so with that AC coupled off a day, they're only using 5% from the panels they're losing. Yeah, so it gives her more usable energy. Yep, okay. So so if you've got your off-grid inverter and then you get your on-grid inverter of a day, does that give them more things they can turn on at once? Yeah, basically you can combine them together. So with her five kilowatt and her 3.3 kilowatt inverter, you can basically say she's got about eight kilowatts that she can use at one time if the power's there. Yeah, and is that the reason you guys put extra solar panels on the AC coupled inverter so it always does that three kilowatt when it's required? Yeah, for sure. Okay, and so that literally just turns itself off when not necessary of a day. Yeah. Yep, okay, awesome. Um, so let's talk about this Victron Easy Solar. So Aiden, so explain, what does the Victron Easy Solar do? The Victron Easy Solar is an inverter charger. So what it's used for is it takes the DC from the batteries and converts it to the usable AC that we use every day in our home. So it's a five kilowatt inverter, meaning you can turn on five kilowatt peak loads. You could run toaster, kettle, fridge, lights, etc. that sort of thing. But overnight, that is all you have available. So if you were to turn on all those things and then the microwave comes on, you'll have a blackout. A momentary blackout, it'll all come back on once the loads are off, but it will provide a blackout. So now during the day, with this AC coupled system as we're talking, we'll be able to run all those initial loads and if the microwave then came on, the AC coupled inverter would simply ramp up, take control of that load, provide the power, and then ramp back down once it's done. Cool, okay, cool. So, so basically a bit of an overcap, we'll recap an overview of the system. So, you know, pretty much we'll call it three major appliances. So, of a day I can turn on a kettle, a toaster, and the microwave all at once, and the system will run all that sort of stuff. Okay. And I can have my fridge running, my pool pump, and things like that on this sort of size system. Yep. And it'll handle it. Cool. But overnight I can pretty much only turn on two major appliances. So, I'll show you, if I had the aircon crank, it was a really hot summer night, and turn the kettle on, the system would handle that, but if I wanted to put the toaster on the same time the kettle, not that you'd probably eat toast at night, but I'd have a blackout, yeah? Yeah. Cool, so, um, awesome. So you yeah, guys, so these really little systems, just with that knowledge and power and education, and with off-grid, the, the more you can do of a day, the easier it is to do, and the less stress you put on batteries and on your battery inverter, so it's ideally that if you can change your life to do more of a day with your off-grid system, you'll get a better solution. So uh, really pre appreciate watching. If you've got something this video, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see all the future builds and off-grid systems we've got coming up and have a great day.